Hey guys, this is Krishan, and this is the life of a web developer. Um, what I really do want to talk about, something I want to go ahead and tell you guys is that, yeah, I just got a new job. I promise to let you guys know which company I work for, but here we go. Anyway, this is where I work. What I'm going to talk about is very unfortunate and it sucks, man. Well, I'll just say it, man. Yeah, I, uh, I was laid off. <laughs> a company that I was really honestly hoping that I'd stay at for a couple years. Yeah, it sucks. I don't... I don't know what else to say. I don't know how else to get to this topic. Like, how did you just say you got laid off? I'm just going straight into it. I come with some big news. And finally, the company that I work for is New Relic. Hey everyone, my name is Chris Sean, and I've been a developer for the last five years. It is honestly kind of crazy to think of where I am now because I generally, and I mean this, I generally did not think that I could make it this far in my career as a developer. Last year, I made a developer on how I shared everything I learned after being in the industry for four years. A year before that, I made another video on everything I've learned after being a dev for three years. But to be honest, on my third year as an engineer, I generally did not think I could make it. You have to think about this. Before making it to my mid-level position as a mid-level front-end engineer, I was working as a junior developer for two years. Didn't get a lot of experience. There was no one mentoring me. There was no one training me. Everything I did on the job, I had to teach myself. No one was helping me or teaching me anything, to be honest. And so when I went to my mid-level position as a developer, I wasn't used to working in a large code base. I wasn't used to working in back-end development. I've never done much in my SQL. Everything was front-end JavaScript related. Then working with things like PHP, working on things like Laravel, it was a whole new world. And I didn't know how I could keep up with that. And I generally believe that within the next one or two years as a mid-level engineer, I'd get fired. Well, what ended up happening was I got laid off. <laughs> but who would have guessed that would be the best thing that ever happened to me? I never thought that I'd make it as a developer five years years into this industry because where I'm at right now is where I never thought I'd ever be to be honest two years ago when I worked in California when I lived in LA I was making $70,000 a year and that is not enough to live in California to pay for rent and everything right and bills and medical bills but here I am now I was able to more than double more than triple my income a year and a half ago when I got laid off and it's all because I didn't give up and so what I want to share with you today I want to share my experiences and things that helped me to get to where I am, and I hope this can help you do even better than what I did, to go further than where I'm at now, and to show everyone in the world that has ever doubted you the way they doubted me, that you can do it too. Here we go. I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Okay, so number one, one of the first things that I've learned, and I, I guess you could say more anything what I wish I did sooner was I wish that I tackled the harder tickets, the harder bugs, the harder anything whatsoever sooner. One of the biggest mistakes I think I made in my career, which should have or could have elevated my skill that much more sooner, was that I like to stick to the things I was comfortable with. That if there was something I did not feel comfortable doing, I wouldn't even try to tackle it. Even though by tackling that more difficult task, that more difficult problem, it would have made me a better developer much, much more sooner. But what tended to happen, I remember at both my junior and my mid-level positions on giving my really difficult bugs to people who were better than me. When now looking back, I should have done it differently. I should have actually taken that task and put in more effort and ask more questions so I can be better at that problem so that if I was ever to come across that problem ever again, whether at that job or another job, I can take it. That is honestly one of the biggest regrets that I do have as a developer. Throwing yourself into the deep end sooner rather than later. It will help you a lot more. Number two, I think this is really important. And if y'all have been following me for a while, you probably know this about me already. 
but <laughs> loyalty does not matter. Please understand this. A company's job is not to be loyal to you. And your job is not to be loyal to them. Your job is to provide value to them by giving them what they need to get the job done so they can make more money. But if ever there comes a point where your job no longer makes them money, I'm going to tell you this, they will let you go. I mean, I personally, I felt like I was a person that was always going to remain loyal where i could stick to a company for many years that's who i am that's who i was i mean i am like that still but i don't feel as strong about loyalty like i used to i was at my first developer job for two years i was at my second developer job for two years but after i got laid off and i was stuck trying to figure out a way to make sure i can feed my family that's when i realized wow i should have taken that job offer when i was still working on my second job as a developer I interviewed at many companies just to see if I can get hired. I got multiple job offers, but it ended up not accepting those offers because I wanted to be a loyal type. But in the end, I was the one that got screwed over. So I'm not saying leave your company after two years or three years. That's totally up to you. But what I'm saying is that you must always look after yourself. That if there was an opportunity that was to come, and if it means that you would be more happier, you would be paid more, which means that you would be able to have more freedom to do more things you want to do, live the life you want to live. In return, it would make you happier. Take that opportunity. It is not bad to move to another job. I know plenty of people who have been working at the same company for five years. For five years. As for me, that when I got laid off, and I thank God that I was laid off from my mid-level position, in a matter of just a couple of months, I was able to more than triple my salary at making $70,000 a year, right? It is crazy, but it's true. Not just don't stay loyal. Maybe that makes me look bad, but always look after yourself first. You come first. Okay, so number three. I think this is really important is be humble and i'm speaking to myself too okay <laughs> i think after being in this industry for a while for everyone who's in here for a while who's been a developer whatever your position is in this tech industry i've noticed that it is really easy to let things get to your head right and one of the reasons is because there are so many opportunities out there there are so many choices out there there's so many different niches that you can work in you can get a job anywhere. You get laid off, you get fired, whatever. You can get a new job in a matter of a couple of weeks, depending on how good you are, of course. But one thing to remember is don't let that get to you. Yo, so many people want to be in our position today. So many people want to be where I am today. And, and I need to remember that, yes, I am here because I put in a lot of hard work, but I am also here because there are a ton of mentors, ton of friends, colleagues who helped me get to the position I'm in today. I think another thing, too, is that as we get better as developers in the industry, as you're in this industry even that much longer, one of the things that I've learned to not say is that don't use the word easy when you're talking to developers in general. Because what you might find easy does not mean it's easy for other people. Just because it's easy for you does not mean it's actually easy at all whatsoever. I come to realize that saying the word easy might make people feel stupid. It might make people feel like, oh, I can't do that because it's easy for that person, but not easy for me. And I might even discourage people to even give up working in this tech industry. So humility is huge. And that's something that I'm trying to practice as much as possible. It is so easy to let things get to your head. Don't let that happen. Okay, last but not least, last but not least, I think I shared this in my last video, I don't remember. And I think this is the most important part is do not let code be your life. Please, I beg you, do not let code be your entire life. There's so much more out there than code. Use code as a tool to improve your life, to get a good job that could pay you really well, maybe to help you build a side hustle like what I'm doing right now, but do not let code be your life. Use code, use this career to help you have hobbies outside. Now, code is my life, right? It is my life, and I'm trying to not let it be my life. What, by doing what? By doing YouTube videos, doing different hobbies. I got this sick setup behind me where I play NBA 2K every chance I get. I use this money to hang out with my family. I'll use this money to hang out with friends, to travel. Now, I am not the best example for this because I'm the kind of person who doesn't like to take vacations and I get called out on that all the time at work. I don't like taking vacations because I love working so much, but that is why I am telling you this. Do not be like me where my work is my life. It just so happens though, okay, just to defend myself, I gotta defend myself right now, is that the work that I do for a living 
happens to be around YouTube, happens to be around podcasts, happens to be around blogs, which are things I've been doing before even becoming a developer relations engineer here at New Relic. Okay. So, yo. I don't take I don't, I don't look at my job as a job. I look at this as my life because I've been doing this for five years anyway. That's why I work so much. So don't let code be your life. I know so many people where they just study code 24 seven. Have fun. You only have one life. Enjoy the nicer things out there. I want to also let y'all know that I do have a podcast. I'll put the link in the description below where I upload three episodes every single week, sharing about my life, answering questions, doing Q and A's, really funny things, interesting things as well. And if you think that this content helped you, this video helped you, I'm going to tell you this, my podcast and my blogs will have even much more information than what I could put in a 10 minute video here on YouTube. Anyways, thank you all for watching. This is Chris Sean. This is the life of a developer and I'm out. See y'all in the next video. Peace.